Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze, guys, and your turn signals do not work and you're trying to find the fuse, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain how the system works and uh, what to expect, guys, if your turn signals do not work. Quick introduction. As you know, guys, we will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you will find the information helpful and it will guide you in the right way to fix your car, guys, and save money. Now, <coughs> this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze, but uh, it should work the same way for the whole first generation from 2008 to 2016. Uh, if you guys need to buy any parts or tools uh, for your Chevy Cruze, check out the link to see where we get ours from for a very, very good price, guys. So if you need anything, you can check it out there. Now, if your turn signals do not work, guys, and you're trying to find a fuse, bad news for you guys. Why? Because Chevy Cruze does not have, guys, fuse for the turn signals. Now, this sounds terrible, right? How, okay, how the uh, turn signals, okay, are controlled if you do not have a fuse. You guys have a BCM, it's called a BCM, it's body control module. We have a video on the channel that explains where it's located and how to replace it. It is kind of like, uh, this is your engine computer here, but you have one computer for everything that uh, the body has. Power windows, um, air conditioning guys, for quite a few things, for uh, instrument cluster, for lights. So this is controlled by the BCM, the body control module. And since you don't have guys a fuse, okay, a fuse for the turn signals, what uh, uh, what you guys uh, have is uh, uh, integrated, okay, integrated part of the BCM controls the turn signals. So if something goes wrong, let's say something shorted out, the BCM will automatically deactivate the turn signals. Now practically that sounds amazing, right? And when you fix the problem, you're supposed to okay it's supposed to fix on its own but sometimes it doesn't if that happens guys disconnect your car battery okay leave it overnight disconnect it try it again next morning and see if that fixes the problem after you found out what caused your turn signals not to work it could be broken wire it could be a bad switch now if that doesn't fix the problem guys you will have to reset the uh, the bcm and we have a video on the channel what we use to reset the BCM, okay, this is, uh, this is what we use right here, Maxicom. This is amazing too, guys, you can find the link in the description of the video below. It works on any car, not just Chevy Cruze, and you can scan and delete codes from every computer in the car. So, check it out, guys. Uh, you just connect it, scan the system, clear the codes, and that should fix the problem. A common, okay, a common problem for turn signals not to work, guys, is the turn signal lever. Okay, lever sometimes will go bad and as a result guys, your turn signals may be deactivated. So, if you want to see a video on the channel how to uh, fix, uh, replace turn signal lever, we have it on the channel. Check it out if you need to buy one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. If all that checks out guys, a couple of uses to uh, check. Number 31, okay, I think it's for the ABS, but uh, it's actually part of the turn signal loop as well. So check that fuse guys, number 31, and also right here on the top cover, okay, on top of the battery terminal, you have another fuse here guys, fuse block. So with multimeter, check all of these fuses, because some could be the guys uh, causing, causing that trouble as well. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos, and see you guys next time.